we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. With Miss Teely, with Miss Teely, Miss Teely, Teely, Teely. She's amazing, she's amazing, she's amazing, amazing, amazing. We're back, we're back, we're back, 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 back. <laughs> hey, Hi. thank you guys for coming back. Thank you. And if you guys are just joining, we are live with the lovely Miss Teely. Phenomenal cosplayer, gamer, writer, voice actress. She does it all. Yes. She's a smart, beautiful lady. Yeah. You go, girl. <laughs> and I don't know if you can hear that, but that's our dog barking in the back. Please ignore Gizmo. He's a little fussy. He's very vocal. <laughs> Hey. Yeah, I know it gets cut off in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but as I was saying about Rock Walk, it's like he's kind of arrogant because he's just like, why are the younger heroes here? They might get hurt. But at the same time, he's concerned. And I feel like he, in a way, he thinks he tries to think logical. And then there's a new character that was introduced by end of season four. I think her name's Mirko. She's like, She's like a black, she's like a black character that kind of looks like a rabbit. And I was like, I like her already. I want to see what's going to happen with her. Yeah, cool. And then, okay. and then it's like, I haven't watched Fire Force yet, but I did notice that I seen some, seen some of the characters and they're bringing more characters of color. And they're not just like stereotypes. They're unique in their own way. Hmm. And that's what I want for like my series too. Like some of my characters, they're, they're from different backgrounds and they have their different hobbies and stuff like the character I made based off myself she likes to game and she likes to dress up like cosplay and then one of the other characters he has the power he has the ability to be like a ghost kind of like getting phantom step stronger and he can create illusion he could create illusions and he likes to DJ so there's like different ways I could go with this that is so cool. Like, so creative. <laughs> yep. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ignore the troll. Don't do yeah. that. So, what else? Um... I guess since we're still talking about anime. Yeah. Okay, what like, so. Recommend or what the top, like, like right um, now? I can tell you my top five anime. Like, my top five are, def are definitely um, Sailor Moon, because that's what got me to anime in general. About Sailor Moon, then. No anime for me. <laughs> um, and Yasha, because I love the story. The finale is very good. Then I like Berserk. Berserk. Berserk was different to me. I just like the fact, you know, my and my series takes place at school, like a lot of anime. It was different because the fact it took place in medieval times where you have knights and kings and queens and stuff. And I'm like, this is very different. I'm going to check it out. And so um, I looked into it and it's very, it's a lot of action, a lot of gory, but I liked it because of the fact it just took place in medieval times. And I like medieval like kings and queens and stuff so I thought it was a different turn of anime so there's Berserk and then Rosario Vampire because that's my favorite that's my personal favorite I love it especially with Mocha she's like Sakuni <laughs> <laughs> and then um, my fifth one um, I'm gonna say it's either between Parasite or Zatch Bell but Zatch Bell made me cry <laughs> I watched that <laughs> I never finished it, but Parasite, like me and Chrissy have watched it like like last year or maybe a year, maybe two years ago. But I'm telling you, like when we watched it, we're like, oh, 
another episode. Like, I couldn't stop watching it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, like, it was addicting. This anime, I couldn't stop. I know. I watched the painting in, um, what's his name? The little parasite? Um, Migi? Yeah, Migi. Yeah, yeah, me me yeah, I like Migi. <laughs> I don't care about you. And then towards the end, he, you know, saved him and sacrificed himself. Yeah. I was just like, oh, I like, let's talk about Parasite. But I like Parasite. What just annoyed me was like, every time Shinichi had his girlfriend, right? And she will always try and talk to him. But then when he looks at her way, she just stares and then she walks the other way. Like, she kept mm -hmm. doing it throughout most of the episodes. I'm like, are you going to talk to him or not? Like, girl, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's a bunch of yeah. trolls don't even pay any attention yeah yeah but anyway yeah it's like that is awesome for sure and we also watched them um, last night like we were getting like our anime but on it was this anime called a whisker have you seen it it was really good Mm-hmm. Oh, what, anime? Oh, A Whisker Away? It's an anime movie. We had watched it last night. It was really good. I was wondering if you've seen it. Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen it, but I heard of it. Yeah, it was really, really good. I was like, gosh. Yeah, we stayed up late, like, last night watching it, and we just, like... Got our anime fixing. <laughs> yeah, much more crazy cat lady too. So that made it even better. But <laughs> hmm, I don't know. It's like if I write more stuff besides working on this on this series, I'm definitely thinking like writing an anime too. And I, I don't know. It's like me. I can't stick to one genre. I'm just very open minded. I like different genres. Like I like fantasy. I like gore, horror, comedy. It's just sky's the limit to me. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm sick. But the name of my series is called Xenozodias. Like kind of mm -hmm. Xeno, it's kind of like Xenophobia, but it's I call Xenozodia Zodias. And Zodias is kind of like Zodiac Science, but I just change it up. I like that. Yeah. Like yeah. Said, it'd be really cool to like once you get like like, like a drawing of the characters see other people like playing the characters yeah oh the comments are crazy I'm not even gonna look at them <laughs> don't pay for real like don't even look cause it's just like it's like an unpleasant like distraction and it's like we're having fun let's just you know what I mean exactly. let's have so screw it yep <laughs> yeah I love their lounge <laughs> Oh, speaking of that, like, how did you become, like, a uh, co-host for the Nerd Lounge podcast? Oh, mm how -hmm. did you become co-host? Oh, okay, so pretty much um, me and my co-host, Mike, we were in the same anime group on Facebook, and he saw my Storm cosplay, and then he just hit me up out the blue. He's just like, you want co-host? And I was just like, yeah, sure. And also because I wasn't doing anything, I'm thinking about, it, like, well, it's coronavirus season, so let's just get this show on the road. <laughs> Mm. yeah <laughs> and I do like the Nerd Lounge because I'm trying to help Mike with his goals too because he's working on a manga series too oh, so okay. I'm trying so it's like we're pretty much working together if we could pretty much work with the same group a similar group who likes animation and drawing and artists and music and stuff like that then we could pretty much put out our projects at around the same time Well, another question. We don't have to be like nerd, but somehow we always get on the topic about food. <laughs> We're like, Ooh, what's your favorite? Food? Yeah. Definitely curry chicken with rice. Okay. Because it's a, it's a Caribbean Jamaican recipe. You guys ever had curry chicken? Yeah. yeah. We love it. Oh, I love it. It's so spicy. <laughs> I love spicy foods. My favorite snack sometimes, if it's not fruits, it's just hot, hot, hot fries or hot Cheetos or hot okay. Cheetos fries. Oh I my love God, the, the, 
I can do the hot Cheetos. Yes. <laughs> yeah. What else? Hmm. Oh, what's it like in California? Like you, you like born? Oh, right? I can show you like part of my house actually. Oh, outside what it looks like now. Oh, yeah. It's like really bright. <laughs> Yeah, there's yeah. like a palm tree. <laughs> We've never been to California before. <laughs> yep. It's awesome. <laughs> so have um how is it like over there like um like as far as like the like the nerd teams? I know there's like a lot of like people who over there, like stores and all that. Oh, well, I could talk, I could tell to you about my favorite places I go to California. Okay. Okay, so my first favorite place is definitely Balboa Park. So Balboa Park is pretty much, it's a huge park, obviously, but what's cool about it is there's a whole bunch of museums and you can learn a lot. So I went to the Chocolate Museum and then there's a Dinosaur Museum and then a museum about space and a museum about women, museum about Asian culture, African culture, like a museum. Oh, and sometimes wow. on Tuesdays, the museums. Okay, so so sometimes on Tuesdays, no. The museums are free, so you get to get in for free on Tuesdays. And and then also, I love the tamales because they sell really good tamales. Okay, so there's that, and. What else? And then my other, my second favorite place to go to in San Diego is Old Town. Old Town mm -hmm. is basically a place where, where you learn about the history of San Diego. And this place called the Whaley House, Whaley House, where it's pretty much haunted, so they say. Mm -hmm. But it's pretty interesting to know. And the restaurants there are very good and delicious. And, and then also they have, they have Victorian houses at Old Town, and they have, like, a tea party, which is really awesome. So, there's that, too. And what else? So, there's Old Town. There's Bubble of Heart. Oh, yeah, then I like the zoo, and then I like going to the beach. And then my mm -hmm. personal favorite that brings out the kid inside me is definitely Disneyland. I went last <laughs> year. <laughs> you guys like Disneyland? Or have you ever been? Never been. Never been. What? You should definitely go. I went when I was a kid. And then I went again last year for my birthday because it's been a while. But Disneyland, they added, they recently added a Star Wars attraction. And for a Star Wars attraction, you get to play three, three positions. You could either be a gunner, which is you get to shoot stuff. You could be the pilot who moves the ship. And you could be the engineer who helps with everything else. But it's really fun. Wow. So, I live about an hour and a half from Disneyland, two hours from L.A., where Hollywood is. And I live 30 minutes from the zoo and 30 minutes from SeaWorld. Sea oh, my gosh. Oh, sea oh, yeah, SeaWorld and the beach is all over there. I'm trying to ignore it hard. Like, for real, you trolls really need to get a life, for real. It's just... I mean, if you don't have anything to say and you're not interested in the conversation, of course, then just leave. get out. No life whatsoever. They're they they're saying like beyond disrespectful stuff. They said to my troops, they asked her to ask her yeah. This is ridiculous. People are just rude. I don't really yeah. care. But, yeah, um, but also my favorite places to go, my, of course, there's San Diego Comic Con. I've never been yet, but I want to go. And there's LA Comic Con. So, and then, oh, and also Anime Expo. Anime Expo is in LA. And if you go to LA, I'll, I'll tell you about, like, the little drawbacks in California if you ever do come to California. Mm -hmm. I already told you about the good places. But the bad part about California is that there's a lot of homelessness, especially in LA, because everybody wants to be like an actor or pursue their own 
careers and stuff, but there's a lot of homelessness. And compared to San Diego, like, in L.A., the traffic is ridiculous. Like, an accident is just waiting to happen. Oh, my gosh. Just, and if you want, if you were to work in L.A., you probably have to leave at least two, three hours from home. Oh, my just, gosh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, traffic is ridiculous. And California is just generally very expensive. I would love to. Like, I dream of going to Anime Expo. It's huge. Oh my gosh, if I had a chance to be in Canada, I would love to be in Yeah. I can't. I, like, seriously, go get yeah, really. Seriously. But what's Virginia like? I want to ask you guys, because I've never been in Virginia. My father at one point wants to move to Virginia, but he's just like, we're just going to stay in Cali. I mean, honestly, where we're located, we moved at first. Yeah. Of all. <laughs> it's it's just boring. Like, it's not really a lot of stuff but, like nerd culture where we're located. Mm-hmm. But like, but the seven five seven, like Hampton, Virginia Beach, all those places out there where there's water, they have stuff for like in the cosplay. They have stuff out there, but like where we're located, it's pretty. I don't know. The same thing. It's not really. It's not very open minded. Like they're just starting now to come around to cosplay and stuff with like Galaxy. Galaxy on Disney, like quite. But, I mean, it's not really a whole bunch of It's not. It's mostly bars. Like, it's mostly, like, clubs and drinking. And, like, history, you would like it. But if you're not into, like, bars and clubs and all that and history, you, you're not going to like it. Yeah, I understand. But, yeah, California is really good. I love the weather the most. It's just the it's just mostly the fact it's just really expensive. Like, if you were to live here, you definitely need, probably need a couple roommates, like one to three roommates. <laughs> <laughs> like, right now, I live with my parents, but I'm just saving up so I can buy a house. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I can't. Like, I'm seriously, like, these parents, like, get a lot of I'm just ignoring them for a like, Yeah. Don't even look at the comments. <laughs> Guys, those of you that are in here that are, like, legit, like, trying to watch the live, I'm sorry. Like, we're not ignoring you, but it's because these comments things are just ridiculous. Mm-hmm. We're trying to have a fun time with Keely. Like, seriously. You guys get comments like this with other people? Yeah, well, yeah, it, it started happening. We went live with Blurred over a while back. We had like crazy racist trolls. Mm. And then we had this live with April. And we had this guy that was obsessed with feet. He just kept saying it was so upsetting. And he wanted to look at our feet. Yeah. So I'm just like. <laughs> yeah. I'll just ignore them because most of them was like. They're probably fuzzy anyway. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Can't really pay attention to trolls because it's like no they're not doing anything with their lives either. So they got nothing better to do. I yeah. guess. And then I'm just going to blame it on the Roma because, I mean, that's even more like, you know, like just like their life is just even more. It like messed with their brains. <laughs> mm-hmm. <sighs> well, yeah. So, you guys been in BlurCon, right? No, we were planning to go. I'm, like, so, like, sad about that because I think next week or the week after next, if the corona wasn't around, we would be there. Yeah, we'd definitely be at uh, BlurCon. And it would have been our first one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Okay, so, let's see. Which ones have you been to? Tell me about them. Um... GalaxyCon, NecoCon, then the CatsyCon, Anime Mid Atlantic, and then like a local like, comic con at a library. And um, I think that's it. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, Otakon. We did go to Otakon one. Mm. Okay. At the con, honestly, anyone that's not a troll but like, catch on open, but it just wasn't our cup of tea. It's very good, but it wasn't really we really didn't have like a good time. The vibe we really didn't like. It was yeah. kind of like and um we're just not for that. Like we wanna have fun. We were afraid to ask these pictures because it was like a like a camera. It's like some of the cops are like, get a picture, but it's like if not, they really need to take a picture. Yeah. So I was like, give it all. That's cool. What's your awesome. favorite con you guys went to? Oh, all of them. Um, I'll, we were not going to say Necrocon. Like, that's our favorite convention, is Necrocon. Mm-hmm. It's like a family oriented, good vibes, nice people. Yeah. Yeah, me, I only been to LA Comic Con and Switch Con. LA Comic Con is my favorite. Mm hmm. And that's when I saw Stan Lee, too. And it was awesome. I actually met um, Tara Strong, the voice actor of Bubbles from Powerpuff Girls, really? uh, Teen Titans Raven. She did a lot of cartoon characters. I took a picture of her. She was awesome. And actually met some of the Power Rangers cast. And one of the Red Rangers, he was kind of crashing on me a bit. He's just like, he's just like, you're kind of cute. You're kind of fit, too. He's like, would you like to audition for Power Rangers? I'm like, me audition? I'm like, I don't know. I I had to be him. I'm like, nah, I'm good. (laughs) No, I could see you doing that, though. That would be cool. (laughs) Like, that would have been dope, but it's like I have other plans. Yeah. But the Power Rangers, he was really cool, though. He's just like, I asked him, I, he was actually, he actually acted as a uh, Red Ranger from Power Rangers in Space. Christopher came in Lee, he did Andros. And I asked him, like, how did you get the part? And then he's just like, that's a funny thing, because I didn't really want the part, but they're just like, whatever, we're just going to give you the part anyway. <laughs> I thought yeah. that was kind of funny. <laughs> <sighs> I, I just, that just takes me back, like, all, like, the 90s shows, yeah. like, mm-hmm. the power, we had, like, a lot of, like, the, what was it, like, the, the characters, and then, like, the, um, the, what do they call it, when they, like, the combined era, I don't remember, it's been a bit, I can't even remember what it's called, but, the game too? Remember the video game? yeah, the video game was cool, too, did you play the video game, the Power Rangers? Which game? It came out in the 90s, for Power Rangers. Yeah. Oh, uh, are you talking about the arcade game? Um, I don't know because it was if if it was an arcade, but we had it on Nintendo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, that would be cool. Like, I never played the arcade games. The only Power Ranger game I actually did play was Dino Thunder, and that came out on PlayStation. Oh, okay, but. I did grow up, I am, I'm kind of a Power Rangers fan because I do grow up watching Power Rangers. I can actually name them in order too, I think. Okay, so I watched it. First was Mighty Morphin, then was Eo, then Turbo, then was it, I think it was, no, Turbo, then it was in space. In space, was, they were supposed to kill Zorna in the end of the series, but the series got more popular, so they kept going with it. And then I think after in space, I think it was Lost, Lost Galaxy, if I'm not mistaken. And then it was Lightspeed Rescue. Then Wild Force. Then Ninja Storm. Down Thunder. <laughs> Just naming them. <laughs> um, Mystic Force. And then I saw watching after that. <laughs> yeah, so many theories. I know. I know. <laughs> I haven't caught up. Like, I saw watching after Mystic Force. <laughs> and let's see. And I think there's a new series, too. I think the most current series is Beast Morphers, but now they're coming out with another one called Dial Fury or something like that. So. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, I like In Space. In Space was my favorite one. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Time Force. Time Force was good, too. Well, my yeah. personal favorite Power Ranger series, I had to say, was definitely um, in space because it marked the end of Zordon. 
and also Time Force, because Time Force had really good writing. Mighty Morphin, because Mighty Morphin is nostalgic. It's the first one that saw, set Power Rangers. And then also um, Ninja Storm, because Ninja Storm was kind of like MTV Real World, but with Power Rangers. <laughs> 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 but anyway, so it's like, I'm, it's like Power Rangers back then, it's like, I thought it was cool because I was tracking me to Power Rangers, was mostly the fight scenes, and everybody did like their own, ta did their own stunts, like, Tommy, he was, he did martial arts for over 10 years since he was a kid, so he, he was already set from the part. Um, Walter Jones, who plays Zach, he loves to dance, he's a dancer, and, mm -hmm. um, Billy and Kimberly, they were gymnasts, so I thought that was really cool, and Trini already knew martial arts, so I thought that was awesome. So, I was just attracted to the fight scenes, mostly. And then what I did learn, I did a little research on Power Rangers, and I learned that Power Rangers was based off of Super Sentai, the series in from Japan, and that's how they got Power Rangers. Right. Yeah. Oh, I never played Battle for a Grid. I'll have to try it out. Battle for the Grid? What? What uh what platform is that for? Battle for the Grid. I think Battle for a Grid is actually for PlayStation right now. Oh, I'm and like, we don't have these games. I know. Oh. We're like so behind on games. <laughs> like Yeah. Yeah, there's I think there's tournaments for Battle for the Grid too. Oh wow. Yeah. Um, but Power Rangers it it was pretty much a part of part of my childhood too, I'm not gonna lie. My cousin, he used to love Power Rangers when we were really little. Like we, he had the, he had the most of the action figures when we were little, and he had like this Power Rangers Turbo movie. And sometimes he would just mimic what they're or try to do what they're doing in the movie. <laughs> I thought that was cute. <laughs> we used to do the same too, and then like we would have like uh we would accidentally like have like little bumps and things, and then our mom would be like, "What happened? Why do you have this bump here?" And she'd be freaking out and so. stuff. But, oh, I miss the 90s. Yeah. Oh, Me too. I miss the 90s too. Like, there was Power Rangers. There was Edna and Eddie, Hey Arnold, Desperate's Laboratory, mm -hmm. <laughs> Big Bad Billboards. Like, yeah. there was so much. <laughs> I miss being a kid. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I was kicked no. on, but I did watch a lot of cartoons and have just going outside and play. It was so simple. So, <laughs> um, like in the nineties, we used to do karate, and um, we would come home from school, do our homework, we'll watch Sarah's Dragon Ball, then we would go do some karate. <laughs> but it was just so much fun. And then when Blockbuster was open, we'd go to Blockbuster and rent like a video game. It was just fun. I miss. It. Yeah, I miss the nineties. So it's like things were so simple. I mean, all you had to do, all we had to do. It's go to school and then we come home and just have fun <laughs> after doing homework. Yeah, mm -hmm. I missed it. Uh, I don't think that so. it does. I mean, there's times too. I watch older cartoons back in the '90s at times. And it's like if I have ever have a kid, I will show them. It's like, see, this is a show that your mom grew up with. We're not gonna <laughs> put you on Teen Titans Go. We're gonna watch the original Teen Titans <laughs> that came out in the early 2000s. Speaking yeah. of Teen Titans, I think for Halloween I might do Starfire. Like, I love Starfire. <laughs> and also Poison Ivy, too. I'm I'm being wearing Poison Ivy or Starfire. I'll just do both. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so speaking of shows, have you guys watched the Avatar? No. We no. never believe it or not. Mm. Yeah, they brought it on Netflix, but it's a really good show. I know it came out when I was a teenager, when I was around, like, 12 or 13. I used to have the Game Boy, too, and I used to play the Avatar on the Game Boy. It was, because I'm still a diehard gamer, but it's, like, back then, I was really into, like, gaming. So, like, I had the Game Boy, too. I had a PSP. But when I tried to play the Avatar game, it was really, really difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like Uma Thurman as Poison? I didn't know Uma Thurman played Poison uh, Ivy. Oh, oh, yeah, I remember that. She did. She played um, Poison Ivy in Batman vs. Robin. Oh, okay. Yeah, that one was with George Clooney and this other guy. 
but people were um, kind of complaining that it was kind of horrible because they had like their little nipples or nip nips were showing <laughs> through their suits. Yeah, so people didn't that. like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, she was she was okay. I don't know. Yeah. She was okay as a personality, but she wasn't like anybody that was like really like memorable like my favorite. You know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. Like there's better people for a role of Batman. I feel like Christian Bell and Ben, ben Affleck, they they did really good jobs. As Batman, like there's just certain actors that are pretty iconic in their in their roles. Like there's them, and there's Hugh Jackman. I kind of have a personal crush on him. He did Wolverine, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm like, he did a good job. I like him. Uh, who else? They're like there's so many iconic people. I'm trying to see who is it. Who is that a type of wait, was it Keith? Was he Ledger? Yeah, he, he did a good job. He was he's a joker. Yeah. He was a very good joker. Yeah. Unfortunately it was, you know, I think the thing that like took him. That he what was they so, call it? That message? Yeah, yeah. That took him, but he was he was phenomenal with the Joker. Yeah, I think with Catwoman, like Catwoman was as memorable because there's different people who played as her. Like Halle Berry, I don't know. Like, I don't know. She's a beautiful yeah. woman, but I just don't know. I just didn't really see her as Catwoman. I couldn't either. She didn't do well with Beauty either. But it has to do with her story is good. Like, you know, like how she became the character and everything, mm-hmm. but. Halle Berry as Catwoman didn't really work for me. I don't know. Yeah, see, I just had like mixed reviews about it, mixed feelings. Like someone else could have done the role. Yeah. And then Anne Hathaway did Catwoman, but I couldn't really see her as Catwoman either. I just saw her, <laughs> as, a, I just saw her as a Princess Diaries chick. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> but I do want to break out into acting one of these days. I like okay. Michelle Piper better as Catwoman. Michelle Piper, she did a good job. I like her as Catwoman. Yeah. I think that you should post a lot of your stuff, your work on YouTube, Miss T. Like your acting and voice acting. Too. You should post on YouTube. Yeah, I'm definitely going to. Like, I have a YouTube channel. I just haven't used it in a long time. But when I actually started working on like my anime series and start collaborating with people to get actually rolling production i'm just gonna post it on my channel on instagram and on facebook and stuff a lot of action especially a little spoiler first episode somebody actually dies the first spoiler the first episode i love it but it's not a main character it's just like a side character (laughs) But I just, I just don't know how good it's going to be, like, just dress yeah. and everything. You know how some shows, they move slow, and you can, when is the good stuff going to start happening? I know. Like, everything's going to take time, but eventually, I'm going to get somewhere. <laughs> right now, I'm just, I'm just writing everything as much as, as quickly as possible. I hope to be finished with my series. I'm just going to do one season for now. And it's just going to be 12 episodes. I'm t- I hope to finish by December. So I'm just going to write two episodes a month. And then hopefully I'll get, by next year, I can actually meet people or get people together. And we'll just put it all together. I can show them the scripts and stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. That's amazing. I'm excited for you. Yeah. I know. It's just It's just so awesome. <laughs> Because I'm like, well, it's coronavirus season. I'm not doing anything, so I'll just write, write, write. <laughs> yeah, Chris and I were talking about that. Like, I'm upset, of course, with things that happen. We really want to go to play comments. But the only other positive thing to say, like, this is the most creative we've been, you know, with, with the IG Live, with the other projects and content. Because of this, like the only time we were really talking was like when we were getting ready for convention. Right. 
But it's good you guys are doing a live show. That's really creative. Well, we're inspired by you. Like all the awesome things you do. I'm just like, I used to do writing, but I kind of stopped. I don't I don't have like the free flowing creativity like you. Uh, it's like I read in the comments. He says to uh, Sylvester Stallone's script for Rocky was turned down a hundred times before he sold it. I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he wrote the script himself, and then it's like I heard that like when he wrote Rocky, they want someone else to play to play the role. But Sylvester, that's what started his acting career. Well, it is. Well, that's what business acting career because originally, what most people don't know, he originally acted as like a porn star <laughs> for <laughs> X-ray videos before he became Rocky, just to wow. make money because he was homeless or he was close to being homeless, wow. and so. When he did Rocky, he asked the director, whoever picked up his script, he's just like, well, you could, you could direct it, but as long as I'm playing in, I'm playing in the movie, because otherwise, you could, you could kick rocks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that's smart. So it's <laughs> like, if you want to be an actor, just write your own stuff and act in it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, speaking of like movies, um, what like what's your favorite musical? Musical? Oh shoot! You guys ever been to Broadway? <laughs> or seen music Broadway musical? Well, my personal favorite was Lion King when they did the Broadway version of it, and they also liked the Nutcracker. Every every year, my mother and I we would just go see like a Broadway performance. Mm hmm. I can't. Well, I can write Broadway plays, but that's not necessarily like my type of thing, because I'm I'm more like I like cartoons and action more or drama, right. so that's where I want to write. Yes, so I found that out like two years ago. <laughs> oh, <laughs> about Sylvester Stallone. Yeah, it's right. It's funny. I mean, people have to start somewhere before they get anywhere. I mean, technically, that was acting before he started. You know. The other acting that we can actually go see, but um, <laughs> so like just kind of going back to like, your, like, your, like your process, like, help you, like uh, write your creativity. Oh, uh, the writing process. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, I'm just writing it by myself because I don't really want anybody to change my story yet, since it's my story. But honestly, it's just whatever comes to my mind or whatever I dream of, I'll just put it down really quick, put it down on the paper so I don't forget. It either goes into my story or I just take notes so I don't forget what to put it out. Because it's like I was still developing Janine's character in the story, and then I was just taking a shower, and then one day, and then one while I was taking a shower, I was like, oh, snap. I'll give you a little spoiler because there's not many people. So it's like... In this, in the first episode, Janine she attempts suicide because she falls off. She pretty much jumps off the roof, but that's when she transforms into like an angel like character. So I'm like, that's pretty cool. Let's do that. And then Janine, she, the reason why she's so emotional in the first episode is because pretty much she has the power to mind control people. But where every time she mind controls someone, she could take either their good. She could she pretty much takes in both good and bad energy and good and bad thoughts and memories of people and not only that her special power is while well, when she transforms she can actually control the powers of some of the other characters as long as she mind controls them oh, if wow. she's yeah so she's strong and pretty much she has bad memories of her being in in, in my story in Geneve's story pretty much the character she was sold her family sold her for food and she was trafficked. But one day she harnessed her powers by getting away from her aggressors and she and she pretty much mind controls the family to adopt her and send her to college. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. It gets deep. <laughs> so I gave her the backstory. You can use those tips for your writing if you have ideas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a lot of my writing comes from dreams I have too. I mean I was writing like a little zombie short zombie short story. I even wrote a short story of how I met Freddy Krueger. I actually met the dude. <laughs> okay, so I it was a dream. 
I was at Lake Voorhees, and I was in I was in a nice house, and it had a chimney and fire going around. But then I see the Nightmare on Elm Street cardboard of Freddy, Freddy Krueger. Freddy comes to life, and then he looks at me, laughs, and he's just like, "Kill or be killed." And I say, "Kill." And so I grab a boat oar and I stab Freddy with it, and that's when I woke up. <laughs> So like, oh my it, was, it was a nice, it was like, it was nice. He's going to try and kill me while I'm like, hey, I'm going to kill you first because I know how you operate. <laughs> you survived? Yeah, I survived. I was just like, okay, that's a first. I got Freddy Krueger. Interesting. Yeah, Freddy Krueger. Oh my God. I have to take like a whole bunch of casting to <laughs> Like, I'm not going to sleep. Mm -hmm. And I also have, like, I'm also working on a novel, too. It's a psychological thriller. It's pretty really? much... Okay, so this is based on a dream I have. So she had the main character, she has red hair, kind of like cherry, a cherry ruby-like color. And with her, she decides to... She runs away from home, and she pursue, tries to pursue a career in the entertainment business in L.A., but she starts off as a showgirl. And she becomes, she pretty much gets into a relationship with the manager, but the manager starts to put his hands on her. It develops an abusive relation, domestic, abusive, domestic violent relationship. And not only that, she has to compete. The other showgirls grow jealous of her, and there's pretty much mutiny and animosity towards her. But then the abuse gets out of control to a point she develops schizophrenia and psychosis. So it's like whenever she sees things, it's not there. It takes a mental, it causes like a mental breakdown for her but she gets help at the end oh <laughs> he said maybe jason would have here if you would have waited <laughs> <laughs> that's funny but yeah so that's that's a that's a plot for the novel hmm. I, i'm thinking about calling it torn hills because she's a showgirl but then it's like the main character's name is tora and tora's kind of like torn away torn apart I like it. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm gonna work on that after I work on the script writing for anime series because I'm really focused on that more. I really want to get that one out, so I'm just doing one project at a time. Yeah, that's good. Oh my gosh, I'm like so inspired. Like that's why we do these files. Like because you were telling me about it. Like, Every person that we have had, you know, in our lives, we always, you know, take something from their lives. Like, they inspire us, you know. Mm -hmm. So, that's why we enjoy doing these lives. Always get inspired from you guys. Oh, uh, sweet. Yes. <laughs> it's like everybody always has something to do and stuff. And I like meeting people on Instagram, too. Well, mine's the trolls, of course. Yeah. <laughs> people who share similar goals or they actually want to do something with your life. They'll be like, I want to be an actor. I want to be a writer. I want to be a programmer. And it's like they actually want to talk with people who share similar goals with them and just collaborate. Right. So I like that. For sure. Definitely. So, anything else? I don't have anything else. Did anybody like the control? Did anybody have any questions? Have questions? <laughs> so we were just talking, having fun. <laughs> Positivity only. Well, most of the trolls left, thank God. <laughs> I guess they found something else better to do. <laughs> exactly. And they're just giving me hearts, like, oh, you're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I also, you guys ever watch Challenge Showdown? I've seen a few episodes. Was that the little yellow guy? Uh, yeah, the little, 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 little yellow kid. I can kind of do his voice too. <laughs> oh, can you do it? Yeah. I challenge you to the arts of Challenge Showdown. Oh, I'm a tornado. You know what, Miss Keely? I think that you can do the voice. Um, Twilight Sparkle and Pinkie Pie. Can you do those for me? Who? Twilight Sparkle and Pinkie Pie. Who's that? Like from My Little Pony. Oh, uh, I never watched it. It's kind of like a cute, bubbly voice. 
Yeah. yeah. Uh, I want to know. I can go really deep. Like, I can share some voices since we got a little bit of time. So it's like, I did a chipmunk voice. I like, I seen, I used to sing the Lonely Acon Chorus in, in middle school. Everybody's like, oh my gosh, you sound like a chipmunk. But it's, <laughs> I can do it. I can still do it. I'm so lonely. I'm so lonely. I'm money. <laughs> so there's that. Um, who else can I do? So there's Herbert. I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, I can also kind of like do Minnie Mouse's voice a bit. Ooh. Hi, I'm Minnie. My lovely true love is Mickey Mouse. <laughs> that was so cute. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep writing. So it's like whatever projects I do, I can just act in them. Yeah, <laughs> but I was talking with my friend Galaxy with scientists because he's pursuing acting too, and I just told him it's good to imitate characters too, but at the same time, just create your own voices. Like if you create more voices and and play with your range a bit, you mm -hmm. you have some originality, and that's what right. people look for. I can use my regular voice too if I want, because a lot of people say, "Oh, you sound like a teenager," and I'm like, "I know." Because they're, yeah. so, they're soft spoken, my mom's soft spoken. Oh. And I have my anime shirt. I forgot where I put it though, but it's okay. It was Sailor Moon because I love Sailor Moon. Oh. My favorite Sailor Moon character is Sailor Mercury though, because she's very intelligent and she didn't really think about boys. She was not as boy crazy as the other girls when they were in middle school. That's she was like study, 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 and. That's what that's pretty much why I was because I didn't really get into liking boys until I hit a little bit of middle school and high school. <laughs> oh, he has Overwatch. Ugh. I don't have Overwatch. <laughs> but yeah, I really enjoyed this talk. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, thank you for coming on, and thank you for and everybody else that's in the live too for bearing with us despite. The negativity trolls. Um, Iron Jager, you said that you blocked them. Thank you. We appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that. How do you do that? I don't know. That's awesome, though. Like, we got support. I mean, there's, not, there's always going to be someone negative and have something negative to say, but the support usually outweighs the bad. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it was a lot of good topics, though. Definitely. But I love different voices because it's so freaking awesome. <laughs> it's really the best, the best you could ever do. <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> that's what I like about it too. It's it's just having fun, and being funny. It's just funny. Exactly. Tap on their names and put your poor comment this block. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's good advice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, anything else? Yeah. Any other questions? Nothing else. Did you guys have anything in the comments? Yeah. Any questions from your team? <laughs> fireworks are going on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys want to see a fireworks tonight? Nah. We're just yeah. going to. Stay in our house. Yeah. We're safe. Maybe we might see some out the window. Cause we're near like the fairground, so I don't know. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay inside too. Yep, where is safe? Yeah. Yep. Anybody? <laughs> <laughs> but. I'm definitely, hopefully, um, if I do travel to Virginia, because I do travel a lot, especially on the East Coast, because all my family's on the East Coast, we can all hang out, take pictures and stuff, and go to cons. Yeah. Yeah. We could do a group cosplays. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah. No, sales. So, we could cosplay a character together, like, like, for example, we could cosplay, like, all the Sailor Scouts or something. Yeah. <laughs> that'd be fun. Oh, 
Yeah, the fireworks are going. Yeah, they're going on. <laughs> oh, it's it's about like eight, almost nine o'clock over there, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's eight fifty. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost six over here. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, I'm streaming tonight. <laughs> I don't think I'm going anywhere tonight. <laughs> are you Are you on Twitch or? Um... Oh yeah, I'm on Twitch. Um, my Twitch is Sam um, Miss Tealy Nine Three. It's just Tealy Nine Three. Okay. Yeah, I have it under my link tree link on my Instagram. So I'll just say Twitch and TikTok and stuff like that. Okay. I'm almost mm -hmm. close to becoming a Twitch affiliate. I'm missing one more requirement. <laughs> but I'll get it. Oh, wow. wow. You'll get it. Yeah. Well, anything else that you wanted to share, Miss Keely? Mm, that I love my cat because he's awesome. His name's Smokey. I adopted him. And I have a oh, guinea pig. <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess we. I guess we'll go bye bye. Yeah, because it's gonna cut off soon. Because it's almost been close to another hour. But well, this was fun though, for real. It was so fun. Live with us, and you know, still continuing to give us an awesome conversation to fight the trolls. Yeah, so we enjoyed it. Yeah, they're just trolls. They're beneath. I step over trolls. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess. But thank you for thank you for hanging out with us tonight, Miss Keely. We got to do it again, okay? Of course. Let me know. All right. All right. I'll see you. Bye. Bye. Bye.